and I, I was shocked. I looked around my public pool on this Wednesday afternoon, and I noticed in a public swimming pool on a Wednesday afternoon there are three kinds of people. I'm going to be honest here. Three kinds, but a bit of honesty here. Three kinds of people in a public pool on a Wednesday afternoon. I seen toddlers, right? Toddlers, paedophile. <laughs> and the mentally handicapped. <laughs> now I felt self-conscious. It's pretty obvious I am not a toddler. <laughs> there comes a point in life you need to start making decisions. <laughs> You need to think fast. You need to start taking your swimming gear down inside a farm foods bag to show you're not a pedo, you're just a bit mental. <laughs> Try to cut a swimming cap out of a farm foods bag. Because everybody that carries a farm foods bag has got a screw loose, and that is the... Uh, <laughs> don't mean mentally handicapped, just a bit mad, right? That is the universal sign for do not approach me, the farm foods bag. <laughs> I don't mean people with three or four farm foods bags, they've just been shopping in farm foods. <laughs> it's that one single, solitary, slightly faded... <laughs> this is my farm foods bag. There are many others like it, but this one is... <laughs> I've seen a guy with an inside-out farm foods bag. <laughs> that is a statement of intent, isn't it? An inside-out <laughs> farm foods bag. That's how I've got an obesity epidemic. Don't have the, the facilities. That's how I've got an obesity epidemic. You're a bit, if you've got a bit of waste as well. You know what I mean? You need to shop in shitholes. You now you walk in somewhere trendy, like Topshop, for a pair of jeans. Somewhere trendier than that, maybe. River Island. Walk into River Island and some, you know, the sales assistants that work in these places, some indie band freak show, they come <laughs> bouncing across the Sylvia. <laughs> oh, look at that, hey man, yeah, woo! <laughs> Telling you to chillax. Everybody just chillax, man. Anybody ever told you to chillax? You've took the word chill and the word relax and combined them to make, ironically, the most infuriating word there's ever been. <laughs> well, they keep bouncing over this guy. They've got that kind of energy and enthusiasm that oozes from people who have now been punched in the face. <laughs> But you require this guy's assistance. You're in Topshop, they sell jeans. You're in Topshop, you need jeans. <laughs> so I have to say, excuse me, mate, can I, can I try on these jeans, please? And a 36 inch waist. <laughs> and his enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Good to see you again. Hey, right, 36 inch. <laughs> Try a 38. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Ask the guy, try a jeans on, and a 38 inch waist. Good call, right? <laughs> Shut up. 38 inch waist. <laughs> Regardless, uh, 36, 38 inch waist. You see the guy, can I try these jeans on? And a 40 inch waist. <laughs> 38-inch waist, and the guy, his enthusiasm just drains. And he looks at you, appalled. Not that way you would look at somebody if they just took a shite in your kettle. <laughs> Imagine somebody took a shite in your kettle, you'd be furious, wouldn't you? It's a social faux pas. <laughs> Could you just shite in the kettle?
I don't come to your house and shite in your kit. <laughs> You've changed, man. <laughs> Shaking in kettle. So I started shopping in proper shithole clove shop. You don't get judged in a proper shithole clove shop. I was in a place called Dunn's Stores. <laughs> It's the hot new up and coming shithole clove shop on the scene. Somewhere between Primark and shoplifting. <laughs> now I've got a theory about clove shop. I find in a clove shop, the cheaper the cloves, the more aggressive the customer. Right? Anybody ever done that thing? You've been in a shop and you confuse another shopper for being a member of the staff. Right? And you go to ask them a question, and they go, oh, I don't actually, I don't actually work here. <laughs> and you go, oh, I thought you worked here. And you both share a chuckle and move on. <laughs> it's finished. However, in done stores, it's no laughing matter. <laughs> the cheaper the clothes, the more aggressive the customer, right? Tensions run through the roof in these kind of places. And I was in this dump. <laughs> when a guy said to me, he said, excuse me, Excuse me. Excuse me, buddy. <laughs> How much? <laughs> How much are these? And I said, <laughs> I don't actually work here, buddy. And he said, that's not what I fucking asked you. <laughs> That was my first ever, my first ever job, part-time job. I used to work in TK Maxx. <laughs> Thank you, TK Maxx. I was in charge of the changing rooms. That was my job. I was the guy that would count your items and then give you a number. So if you were trying on three items, I gave you a number three. <laughs> and if you were trying on four items, I gave you a number four. But we only had numbers one to six. And this one time, a woman was trying on seven items. And everybody was fucking freaking out. <laughs> I said, calm ourselves, yeah, let's just calm ourselves. Give me the six. Give me the one. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs>